PC rooms with family. It's me, clocks in. I want to talk to y'all about living in the moment. Um, I've personally gone through a new form of awakening because of these past few events that have happened in my life, and I've realized the importance of the present and why it's even called the present in the first place. Like it's called the present because it's a gift. You know, the thing that we have right now. If we can change at any moment with a thought, that's a present. Right? So, because we're in the present, we should treat it like a gift. And I've come to the realization that we should live every day focusing on the present moment. You know, what we can do now, what we can affect now, whose lives we can change right now. You know, whose lives we can help, how we can improve our lives right now. You know, and um. I also wanted to make this video because I was the type of person that I had like a 50-50, you know, 50 percent of me was focusing on today, and the other fifty percent was focusing on okay, what's gonna happen in the future, or the future is is basically already depicted because of what happened in the past, you know. But now I'm at a new point in my life, and I realize that that's not necessarily true. You know, anyone can change to a degree. And my, me, myself, I've definitely changed over these past few days. Like I'm a different person now. And I'm still changing. I wouldn't say my new phase is complete. Still shifting into the new me right now. Right? I'm finding myself again. And um, I feel like... Sorry about the background. I'm cooking. But, um, I really feel like we should live in the moment. I'm going to put this little clip in here from one of my mentors, R, the guy. He's going to talk a little bit more about the aspects of living in the moment and the perks that it gives. Like when you live in the moment, y'all, you get to find things that you wouldn't normally find because you're not always looking about looking into the future about what would happen or what could happen. You're just living in the moment. So you're able to see all the opportunities in front of you. You're able to choose from what's here, you know? And so I'm going to put that clip in here in a little bit, but I just want to talk about that like really extensively for y'all to live in the moment because when you look into the future too much and you try to make plans for things. Here's how I look at it. It's only so many different possibilities that could happen. And half the time, the possibilities that we think are going to happen aren't even going to happen. So when you waste that energy focusing on what could happen, even though it's not even a 100% possibility, you're closing and you're, you're closing off the opportunities right in front of you. For example, if you got five doors in front of you, and you're focusing on the one door that you're going to see next week or a month from now or a year from now. You're not even realizing there's five doors in front of you that you could use right now. Open up, open, open up those doors and find new opportunities. But you're not. Your eyes are closed because you're focusing on that one door that might be open for you in a year, and it's like, or in a month, or even in a few weeks. It's like, slow down, open your eyes, and look at the doors in front of you. I'm really talking to myself right now because I've done this multiple times, you know, with myself and the people around me. And it's like you don't want to do that to yourself and the people. You also don't want other people to do that to you. You don't want other people to try to get you into that mindset of, okay, thinking, thinking. Like, I had this little gimmick with my sister. I would say, no confirmation, right? Like, she would, she would tell me things sometimes. And, like, Adam, Adam we're going to do this in the future, okay? We're going to do this. We're going to, um, so this is what's going to happen in, like, a week, okay? We're going to do this. You're going to do it like this. And we got to do this thing exactly like this, okay? So make sure we're wearing this. Make sure we're doing that. Make sure you bring that, okay? And then make sure when you do bring that, uh, that specific thing, um, it has to be like this. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I say no confirmation. I'll be there, but there's no confirmation that all that stuff is going to go down exactly how you planned it. So I'm not confirming anything because when you confirm things in the universe and then when you don't meet up to those expectations, the person who wanted you to confirm those things, they're going to feel a certain type of way because they had it in their mind like this is supposed to go this way and everybody agreed to it. So now when it's not going this type of way, it's a problem. And so that's what you don't want to do because you're fighting against the universe. You know, you know what I'm saying? So especially with other people, when you don't know something, don't agree to something that you don't know just because, you know, even if it sounds cool, you don't know the future. So why are you agreeing to someone else's future? Don't do that. You know, you can only know what you can do. So when somebody else wants to put something on you to try to control your future, only uh, agree to the standards that you know you can do. So if you know, that, okay. I can be there, but I'm, I can't confirm that I'll even still have this specific item that you want me to bring in in, a, in, a, in a next week. You know what I'm saying? Like anything can happen. I could lose it. I could forget it. I could have 
broken by accident, anything can happen in a week. You know what I'm saying? So it's like to confirm those types of things is kind of foolish to me. And it's like, that's why I've, I created this term, no confirmation. My sister's probably laughing right now. She's watching this. No confirmation. Don't confirm nothing. Okay. No, no, don't confirm nothing. All I can confirm is that I'll be there if that, you know what I'm saying? Anything can happen. So let's just live our life day by day and just keep keep each other updated. So if you want to kind of see a future that you know you need other people around, keep you're supposed to update yourself and make sure they're around throughout the process. You don't just be like, hey, I know we ain't talked in a while, but in next month, I need you to be in a specific spot. Like, wait, what? You don't know what this person's going to go through, what they're, what they're going to do or what they're going to go through. So the best thing to do when you want to have, when you want to plan for something that's not in the present, is to constantly be in the present and update yourself and that person on the progress that you are trying to make. That way, you're closer to having them in your frequency. So by the time you do get to that desired point, they're with you through that journey, and so they can adapt and adjust and kind of grow and you know fit into the confines of what you want if that's what they agree to. You know, so I feel like that's a much better way to do things instead of just planning for ahead and be like, boom, that's what it's gonna be. I'm going to just forget about it now. And then when it gets to that point, it better be exactly how I planned it or else it's going to be a problem, you know? So that's basically why I just want to say, and I also want to put this little excerpt in here, insert, I'm sorry, of this video of my mentor. And y'all watch that. He's going to break it down a little more. And then I'll be right back. I catch myself just focusing in on the moment. Like, I'm a workaholic, so I love to work. So when I'm not working, all I think about is work. Whether it be something inconvenient throughout the day, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, like uh like for example if i had to do something or or i had to stop doing my work to go do something else normally i would just be upset and be like damn i didn't get to finish my work but as as of now i just get so focused in the now like i get locked into the moment to where it's like damn you know what i'm saying i'm not doing work but i'm spending time with my son let me just focus on this or i'm not doing my work i'm helping this person out let me focus on that because that's what the universe brought me to in this very moment so that's what I need to be here in the present moment. I don't need to be thinking somewhere else. I don't need I don't need to have my mind somewhere else in my body in the present moment. I need to have my mind in the present moment and my body in the present moment so I can realize what the universe is trying to show me. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I wouldn't be here if I'm not supposed to be here. So this is where my mind needs to be in this present moment. You need to be you need to be relative to the people that are around you in that moment and figure out what is the universe trying to unravel to me pulling me away from my work today and saying, "Hey, even though you even though this is the day that you plan to do this and this is what you're supposed to do, this is what the universe got planned for you today. And that's how you gotta that's how you gotta look at shit. And you gotta you gotta realize that that every moment is its own moment. You know what I'm saying? Allow that moment to be beautiful. Allow that moment. I don't give a fuck what it is. I don't give a fuck if if it's a negative thing. You gotta realize, hey, this is what the universe unfolded for me. This is the lesson that I have to go through. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you play in a video game. In order to get in order to get a certain weapon or to get that certain gun that you want you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do this little side mission over here you know what I'm saying but sometimes you don't know that you're gonna get that weapon when you do that side mission but then when you do the side mission you like damn if I had never did this I would have never got this gun and that's how life is sometimes you got to learn lessons and you don't see them directly sometimes it feel like it might be a little side mission but then when you go down there now you didn't met the person to the job that you've been trying to get or now you didn't met the artist that you've been trying to work with or the producer. So you got to but you got to focus on the now, because if you don't, you might just miss that shit. You, you might be so into trying to get back to the main mission that you miss all of the little shit you're supposed to pick up on the side. You feel me? So you, you got to be aware and you got to be present in the in the present moment and just love that because all there is is the present. That's why they call it the present. It's a gift. Yeah, yeah. I like his uh, description of that, too. Like how he talked about the video game and how. Sometimes you have to do the side quests, you know, to find out what you really need. Because if we, like in a video game terms, we just do the story mode, the story mode, the story mode. We're not going to complete the game fully. We're not going to get all the items. We're not going to get all the achievements that we could have gotten if we would have just took a break. Stop playing story mode and go into the side quest. Do some, you know, some free roaming. Talk to some random NPCs. You might find something that you truly need by going off the course, you know? So... And the thing about the story is you the story is basically the future because you know the story. You know where the story is. You know, okay, the cam next campaign mission is marked on your map. You know where you need to go. And then the next mission is automatically going to be set up for you because the game wants you to continue. So after you beat the main mission, it's going to show you where the other main mission is. You're going to keep doing that until you basically beat the story and you beat the game. Boom. So that is the, basically the future. The campaign, the story mode is the future that you already predicted. 
the side quest is the present moment, the thing that you didn't know about. Like, dang, oh, wow, I know it's the NPC over there that was going to help me and get me this new weapon or this new item or this new power-up. But I only saw it because I chose to not go on the straight path and just do some free roaming, just w walk around, you know, play with it a little bit. That's really how you expand your consciousness and learn things as a whole. You know, we got to learn things as a whole and not stop being so singular and linear in our thought patterns. So um, I'm glad he broke it down like that. And it's, it just really awakened something in me. And that's why I'm really spreading to y'all. And it's like, wow, we got to live in the moment, y'all. But that's basically what I want to say to y'all. Try to live in the moment as best you possibly can. I'm on, I'm on this new wave right now to where I want to just focus on having one great thing every single day. And that's going to build up my momentum to have great things in the future. And, you know, instead of saying, okay, in a few months, I'm just going to have this big thing. I know I'm going to have it. And every single day, I'm just thinking about that one big thing. No. I'm thinking about small things every single day. And that's going to build up my level of uh, confidence and my level of consistency. Because we want to be consistent with ourselves. You know, we don't want to be positive four, three days out the week and then negative the other day. And then positive, negative, on and off. We want to be, we, we want to have a certain level of consistency. Yeah, there's going to be times where we're negative. There's going to be times where we're down. We want, we want to have a slow, steady, consistent level of progress, you know. And um, that's only going to happen when you're living in the moment and you're, and you're dealing with things that are in front of you and you're facing things that are in front of you and you're choosing the options that you actually have in front of you, not imaginary options that you want in the future. And um, I'm really saying that to myself because I, I did that for the longest time and I'm done with that. I'm not living for the future anymore. And I'm not predicting the future based off the past. I'm just living in the moment. But so, y'all, thank you for watching. This is my little thought process on living in the future. Thank you all for watching. New videos coming soon. Make sure y'all check out my YouTube channel, my Instagram. By the way, my Twitter got hacked. Do not follow my Twitter. If you're following my Twitter account on Clarkson, unfollow it. It got hacked. I don't know how, but somebody hacked it, so don't follow that. But yeah, that's basically it, y'all. Thank you all for watching. Peace.